In Inventor 2024, we've added a few enhancements to the 3D annotations environment. When applying a linear dimension, it can now be specified as an envelope requirement. We've also expanded the annotation scales to include 1 to 5. When annotating the profile of a planar surface, it was previously possible to specify all around. Inventor 2024 adds all over to the note options. All this and much more in Inventor 2024. In Inventor 2024, we've added the brand new Edge Symbol command to the drawing environment. The property panel contains many different settings for customizing your symbol. Various positions can be chosen from, such as vertical direction, horizontal, or no values at all. Values can be typed directly into the images where required. There are also three options that can be applied, value range, all around, and a multiple face modifier. General notes can be created by clicking directly on the sheet outside of a view. Here we have further types, such as specific edges and majority symbols, supported by the options of value range or ISO standard. Again, we can type values directly into the image, and there's also a handy function for adding the plus minus symbol. All this and much more in Inventor 2024. Appearances are a great way to colour our parts, but they don't tell us anything else about the manufacturing process. With the new finish feature, appearances can be combined with rich data to describe the manufacturing process. In the new property panel, we can apply material coatings, heat treatments, surface texture, or just paint it. We'll demonstrate adding a heat treatment. A drop-down allows you to choose a specific process. This could be case hardening for instance, and then we attach an appearance to it. Descriptions can be added, and then of course, the hardness, which is a brand new unit type for Inventor 2024, and supports many different units, such as Brinnell, Vickers, or Rockwell. Then simply select the faces to apply this finish to. In the browser, there is a brand new folder created called Finishers, where we will see a list of all finishes applied to the parts. This means we get a really great overview of the processes required for this part. And if we hover over the finish, it will highlight the areas of the part that it is applied to. Model states are also supported by the finish tool. So when we switch between model states, we can suppress and unsuppress finishes. Also note that some value input fields also support applying a tolerance. For the second model state, we'll just paint it. Choose the process from the drop down. This could be powder coat, spray, roller, or any other method. Pick the appearance and then enter a description to be used later on in the drawing or 3D annotation environment. The paint thickness can also be specified. Choose the faces to paint, and that's the base coat for this plate. Using the same model state, we're now going to layer a second process on top of that. This is something we couldn't do before with standard appearances. Apply the final coat of paint and add some notes. And then again, we'll pick the faces we're gonna paint. You'll notice that when I click OK, the blue paint will override the primer in the graphics area. And that's because finishers respect the browser order. So the finish at the bottom will always be the one that is visible. And of course, these finishes are controlled by the model states. All values entered into the finish command are accessible from the parameters window. So we could use the values in here to calculate how much paint we need for an entire frame. And in the drawing environment, or model-based definition, we can retrieve the finish information. A new type category in the leader or general text box allows you to choose any of this finish manufacturing information. 
allowing it to be automatically updated whenever a change is made. And by stacking these notes together, we can show the full manufacturing process in a single note, making it much clearer how this is to be made. All this and much more in Inventor 2024. In the application options, it's now possible to set perspective with ortho faces as the default display appearance. We've also improved the sectional view tool to add an end cap toggle. This helps you to see more clearly which solid items the view is directly cutting through. Another cool feature is the ability to rotate a sectional view. Click the toggle button in the MIDI toolbar and then use the in canvas overlay to rotate the cut. This is also supported in quarter and three quarter sections. We've made it much easier to create your own IBL environments. Simply create a new style, click upload image and then select the HDR image you want to use. There are hundreds of different HDR images on various third-party websites for you to choose from. And if you prefer to use Inventor Studio for your rendering, we've increased the maximum render resolution to 16K. All this and much more in Inventor 2024. In Inventor 2024, you can now use iLogic code directly with Vault. Inside the iLogic rule editor, there are several snippets provided to get you started, but there are many more functions available in the help documentation. Whole new workflows are now opened up from checking your login status or the version of Vault running, right through to copying a file, applying a Vault numbering scheme, and then checking it out. For instance, I could combine this new code with iProperties to select a component in the graphics area and see a summary of its properties. We could take this a step further by creating a configurator and pushing the parameters to our parts. Then using the new Vault interaction, get a copy of all the drawings from Vault, reuse any parts from Vault that match this configuration and then create new files for the ones that don't already exist. Then we can create new drawings to match any unique files. And finally check it all in. We then have a full copy of this configuration ready to manufacture. With iLogic Vault code in Inventor 2024, the possibilities are endless. Autodesk Inventor 2024 expands your Fusion workflow capabilities. There is now the option to send parts directly to the Fusion 360 inspection environment. Log in to your Fusion 360 account directly from Inventor. Check the upload folder and type a file name. Then simply click upload to send it directly to the Fusion 360 inspection environment. After the upload process is complete, Inventor can be set to automatically launch Fusion, and you can start creating an inspection plan. Once that is complete, the inspection report can be reviewed. So that's the new inspection workflow in Inventor 2024. We introduced the mark feature in Inventor 2023, allowing you to laser etch or mark parts. We've now improved that in 2024 by adding a behavior section to the property panel. In addition to being able to etch in three different directions, there are now two different marking methods. Project will apply the mark across all faces in its path, even if they are not coplanar. We've also added the ability to wrap a mark. This allows the mark to be wrapped around corners or be applied to curved geometry, such as shafts or cylinders. And here are those same marks in the flat pattern. 
So that's the Mark feature in Inventor 2024. We've added several new workflows in Inventor 2024. So let's take a look at Oriented Minimum Bounding Box. These are two identical cubes, except one of them has been drawn at 45 degree angles. If we apply a standard bounding box to them both, the green cube takes up more space than the blue cube. This is because the envelope is drawn in relation to the origin of the part. If we use the new Oriented Minimum Bounding Box setting, we can see that the green cube now gets a rotated envelope that more accurately represents how much space it occupies. Let's take a look at this on a larger assembly. This new workflow is also supported within Simplify. When using a standard orthogonal bounding box, these parts look like they are occupying a lot of space. With oriented minimum bounding box, intellectual property can be removed whilst also giving a more accurate representation of the space required. This is particularly important when delivering an item. If a standard bounding box is applied to this linkage, we would need a shipping crate that is 1.6 meters by 1.5. However, switching to an oriented minimum bounding box shows that we only need a crate a third of that size, 1.6 meters by 440 millimeters. In addition to this, when creating a single bounding box, the edge dimensions of the area will be pushed through to the parameters window and can be used in 3D annotations or the drawing environment. All this and much more in Inventor 2024. The parameters window has two new improvements in Inventor 2024. The parameter window extends export functionality to text and Boolean parameters in the user parameters section. This allows us to access parameters in other places, such as the eye properties, where we can insert them as part of a live description, or simply display them in the custom eye properties tab. Autodesk Inventor 2024. In Inventor 2024, we've added another highly requested feature to the drawing environment in the form of revision clouds. Simply pick your view, draw a cloud, and create. And it's so easy to edit afterwards by just dragging the nodes. You can then go to your assembly and make your changes, such as deleting this bracket. The line color of your revision cloud can be changed in the object defaults by simply moving it to a different layer. And revision tags can be snapped to the cloud to further clarify your changes. All this and much more in Inventor 2024. Inventor 2024 brings a new feature to the tube and pipe environment. Custom elbows are now available in tube and pipe styles. First, edit a style to have custom elbows and select a suitable elbow from the library. Normally when routing a pipe run, Inventor will only let us add a 45 degree elbow. By clicking on custom elbow in the new property panel, the manipulators become curved and we can snap to any angle required in five degree increments. This can be fine tuned by simply typing in the angle required. Inventor will then add a custom angled elbow into your pipe run. This will also show up on the bill of materials and of course in your parts list in the drawing environment, along with the angle that you chose. And finally, if you want the custom elbows to stand out, or if they are normally made from a different material, you can also do this in the tube and pipe styles. By setting the appearance to green, I can instantly see which elbows will need to be custom made. All this and much more in Inventor 2024.
In Inventor 2024, once again, we have improved model base definition. On the annotate ribbon, there is now a welding symbol option to allow you to add welding PMI information to your designs. The dialogue is almost identical to the drawing environment, allowing you great flexibility over your welding symbols. Of course, as always, we can bring these notes through into the drawing environment. Remember, we don't have to use a weldment assembly for this. 3D weld symbols are also supported in normal assemblies and even multi-body part files. And with QIF or Step242, we can export this information to other systems and viewers. All this and much more in Inventor 2024. Thanks for watching. Don't forget click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Like, comment and share. See you next time.